Hi, it's Leslie Zemeckis back with another Write for Success. Today's guest is the best-selling author, Julia Claiborne Johnson. So just listen to the description of her latest book and tell me it does not sound like a must read. Better Luck Next Time is set at a divorce ranch in Reno in the 1930s, narrated by one of the handsome, usually shirtless, hired hands. It's witty, it's wonderful, I love this time period. Anyway, I love this concept. So here's Julia with her oddball writing tips. See you next week for another dazzling author. Remember, stories matter. Yours, hers, his, ours. Hi there, everybody. This is Julia Claiborne Johnson. I am speaking to you from my home office. This is where the magic happens. Um, and I want to give you three sort of oddball tips about writing novels. Um, I never tried to write a novel till I was 50, and I learned all this stuff by doing. Um, <clears throat> my first tip would be don't tell everybody about the novel you're writing. Sit down and write it. I mean, or even dictate it into a handheld device. If you just go to cocktail parties and tell people about the novel you're writing, it's not gonna write itself. You have to actually do it. So I think it's better to just keep it to yourself until it's done and then you can tell people. Um, Cause it has been my experience that people who talk about it a lot never actually do it. Um, my next tip is, uh, well, I'll tell you how I came to it. When I was teaching myself how to write a novel, I happened at that time to read a biography of a writer named Richard Yates, who wrote a couple of really depressing, very good, but you know, bummerific novels called, one was called Easter Parade, another one's called uh, Revolutionary Road. <clears throat> but anyway, when he was a kid, he was like 13 or 14, he decided he wanted to be a novelist. So he typed the entire, entire Great Gatsby just so he could internalize the rhythms of a novel. And I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. So I took three novels I was really into at the time, and I wrote down everything that happened on every page. And it was the greatest. It was like free graduate school for writing novels because you could see, when you did it that way, you could see and un really understand pacing and like how to start chapters, how to end them, you know, the ups and downs of the narrative structure. It was the greatest. And I've also found since then that if I read a book and then listen to the audiobook immediately thereafter I can also see what the writer has done in ways that I didn't maybe catch when I read it so that has I guess it uses a different part of your brain super useful um, <clears throat> my third tip um, when I would get really stuck on a part of the book I would want to just bang my head against the top of my desk which was not particularly productive and would leave a lump so I don't want to do that anymore so finally you know oh it's over here there's a bed here <clears throat> I use it as a credenza sometimes with all my paper spread out across it but it also works as a napping place so when I get really stuck I would lie down I would lie down on that bed and close my eyes and tell myself I was going to take a nap but I didn't always fall asleep because usually my brain would just start talking 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 I, and with my eyes closed, the whole outside world was shut out, so it was only what was going on in my head. And it really helped. It was a great thing. And I solved many a narrative problem that way. And sometimes I did fall asleep, but I had sort of trained myself to dream about whatever the, the trouble was, and the answer would come to me in my sleep. So that was fabulous. And I guess it's because it unleashes different parts of your brain also. Very useful also very restful. So those are my tips. You know, if you can have a bed in your office, <laughs> do it. Um, really study all the books you love the best really hard and don't give it away for free. Write it down on a piece of paper and get it done. And thank you to Leslie for having me come here to talk to you about this because um, I'm so thrilled every time I finish a novel that I wish everybody could feel this way too. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.